so many cars and trucks to see. Well, the rattlesnakes are thick. So we gotta be prepared. Down here near Austin, Texas today and looking around big old salvage yard. This is Joe and I's parts pulling adventure. It is gone. These cars have been pillaged over the years and they're being pillaged now and they're going to be Yep, that is the orange jacks of death. So we are kind of looking around to see which parts and cars should escape that. Long trip from home, so we're kind of maximizing time and space. Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake. Not, he did, not really, but he did say there was a ton of rattlesnake. He did say that they are thick and bad, so we've got to be on our, toes. on our toes for sure. So, if you like old cars and you're short on anxiety, this would be a good place to come. <laughs> oh, front clip's gone. Yeah, not a whole lot that I. More of a B body guy. Yep. We're looking every one of these for tilt columns. Oh. How do you tell if it's a tilt on these? You look. Yeah, you look on the turn signal side, and there's a second shorter lever. Okay. But this one does not have. Correct. Ha! I found where the clamshell wagon came from, or well, at least where it lost its side glass. <laughs> like Hansel and Gretel dropping crumbs as they pulled it out. This one's super cool. This is an old oh, this is, it's yellow. fire oh, chief. It's okay. Oh, I bet they're gonna derby that. Do you think? I wouldn't know really. It's not a great derby car. The generation after is even worse. That's why you should restore them. If it doesn't make a good derby car, you should restore it. Even if it does make a good derby car, you should still restore it. What's that one missing the clip there? Ah, uh, 70 Impala. Okay. This one says sold and then scribbled out. Oh. Automatic and non -tick. What's the telescoping? Is it the same? Telescoping cover? has like a big... So the way you operated that was you twisted that center piece. And in order to twist it, they had like kind of a ribbed ornament that you'd twist and grab. Lots of these old Chevys. Fords. Guys are telling me to fix a 61 front fender you can cut. A little corner of this off and you have to use a little shrinker stretcher work but you can fix
fix the fender. Seventy three and four should be. Oh, probably really just front clip parts. Like if we could buzz that core support off, it would be not too bad to have. Wow, here's this old 98 coupe. That's a pretty neat car. And the molding I need is not there. Yeah, wow. Probably, yeah. I don't know where to look for a cereal. Somebody wanted them a dune buggy and never got there. As are most of the cars here. This beer wagon's neat. What's that? I just told you. Oh, hey, there's a Chevy over there, that blue one. Oh, yeah, no column. Well, yeah, no, it does have a column. The reason why those tilts are worth what they're worth is they are rare. You'll look at several hundred cars before you ever find one. Falcon, one of the least collectible antique cars right there. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm leaving those. You might want to check that 65. Though. Ah, it's just a Bel Air. Huh? Just a Bel Air. Seven. It's a fair lane body. Six was a Falcon, seven was a fair lane. Nobody home. It's a yellow Ford wagon. Let's go back through here and then come up those. Um, 
<sighs> Water and sewer, possibly. Uh, dash, possibly. Best year of these to part out is a 67 because it's got the dual master cylinder, which was federally mandated that year. Oh, yeah, hood's gone. Smash hood's decent. Ah, the badge is gone. Yeah, that's someone, a someone took all the good parts. Yeah, this has been wow. Cool topper. Sadly, a little pillaged over the decades. Probably mostly pillaged over the last month. Seventy. Dodge. Chrysler. That's a 71 or two Ford wagon. Going in the back. Going in the back. So what if the skid loader doesn't pull them out? At least it's a hydraulic jack to help you not have to crawl under there with the snakes to put your pipe or your rollers in there. Yep. Postmortem Cougar. Ah, uh, B-body. He said some of those he's taken back. I think he's kind of a B-body Mopar guy. Belvedere, probably. Yeah. Post-mortem F-150. Yeah. 57. Oldsmo pile. wouldn't have the current. Yeah, it's 54 and 5 that has that. Yeah, 456. I should ask him, like all these that are missing the front suspension, if that stuff got inventoried in a barn somewhere. Hubcaps got inventoried in the new port. He had a whole another empty field to fill and didn't. <laughs> Short bed Chevy. Florist van. I needed a cluster for one of these, but this car's been totally flooded. So I don't think I would trust a flooded cluster. It's an adventure. See what we find. Uh, 
Yeah, these are about probably 50-50 of production. Okay. These, this, they're, it flooded here. Oh, I see, right yeah, here. came right down this. These cars have all been underwater. This one took the whole... There was a pond, there was a pond there. Oh, and it broke. Huh. Okay. Empty your boots. This is the real ascent to Rattlesnake Hill. The other one in western Kansas was just a test. That's a short, extended, kind of neat. It's all a little bit of mm -hmm. That's that 69 Chevy wagon. Just tilt, probably. Nope. It's a neat car, wood grain. 72. Oh, I want to start at the furthest corner and then work back. No, no, but this is the furthest corner. Huh? This. Oh. There's the very standard model 72 Torino. I like ugly cars, and that to me is almost too ugly for me to like. Yep. Wrong one. Wrong one. Go to the ground for anything. I kicked it. And if we drive here, I'm not running over it. There's the fire bird. Emphasis on fire. This 61 has a halfway usable fender. Another. Wow. 71 coupe.
I gotta look. It's an Impala. Seventy one Impala Coupe. Not a builder. Sixty four. Barracuda with a rusty hood. Halfway keeping an eye out for one for the black 64 Valiant. Rambler. Sixty eight or seven. I think sixty eight. Take a picture of that and I'll ask him about those back glass moldings. And that second row of trees is what the, for that row, second row of cars in the trees, is where that 67. Here? Yeah, oh, it's, it's it supposed to be, row. well, yeah, it's the second, second row behind, I think. There's like a 80s, maybe brick, it's probably down here, I'm betting it's, yeah. Yeah, we just came through back there. Okay. Most important thing on one of these places is to map it in your head. Oh, oh no. Oh wow. I think it just gets so baked and then we're close enough to Houston probably is where some of this Moist air rusts them. It's not like Colorado where the paint burns off and mm. yeah, rolling folk art, man. Okay, there'd be a whole My Classic Tire video out here. <laughs> Just out here for a few days. Royal There's Seal. Oh yeah, 76er. Wow. Okay, well, I picked my car, now time for you to pick yours. <laughs> you want the uh, green Aspen station wagon, don't you? Nope. We'll have all the tools in the same spot. I like all the colors there. <laughs> you can just load it right up. Oh, this is cool. This is like the museum without a roof of retired service and fleet vehicles. What a cool place. Okay. 
fence is still tight. I'm gonna shut my camera off and climb over. That's at 71. Neat car. See, I wish mine would have been this color. Oh. I don't think you understand how rare the white is. I don't care about I know. Either way, regardless, we're not repainting it. <laughs> no color changes. We restore things to the trim tag unless they're movie cars. Then you restore them to the screen used appearance. But either way, they get restored to a standard in my world. If I want a blank canvas for expression, I'll do that with actual canvas or clay. 73 Caprice, four door. Sixty nines. There are more Vegas out here than I've ever seen in one place. And I've been a lot of places. This is a neat car, 69 Sport Coupe. Half top blazer. That one's so rusty. Too, too rusty. Here's a bug. Hey, I got 300 bucks on eBay for that set of pop outs off that bug. But these are not pop outs. Huh. I'm encyclopedic about some cars, but not bugs. That must be 64, 5, 6, purely guessing. I know. We got to ship this moisture back to Houston. I've got to check this Plymouth out, 73. So, I will never not see one of these cars and not be sick about having my parts car stolen and my friend's parts car stolen. Wow. This Grand Prix is cool. Uh, 62 for Cadillac parts. Uh, that center grill piece, every one that I ever had, that painted part, yeah. was gone. That's a 63. So I ever thought, well, if, if all mine were missing, so. Probably would have been other people's. Um, that is hard to get over. I find over yeah. That hood is just kind of on the mangled side there. Hmm. Oh, good. You could do a whole video of just tires and just bumper stickers. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Here's another. Whoop. Sixty-eight. Bonnie. I'm gonna take all those sets of Ford or hardtop back glass trim. Cause it's hard to find.
hard to get over or not, regardless, I'm crossing. Regardless. There's another Taylor Public Utilities step side. Oh yeah, we've got a second inverted F-150 that exact truck in that exact condition sitting that exact way was it the place I picked that other 67 four-door hardtop up at. Oh, at uh, Toronto. It gave me a brief deja vu moment. 80 Cutlass kind of a unique one. Ooh, K car. My high school car was a later fuel injected Burgundy Dodge Aries station wagon. And it was a good little car, but it was a cheap little car. And my dad was constantly replacing or rebuilding parts and pieces of that thing. Till it finally died of a front main seal leak, rear main seal leak, and a failed transmission. 63 Impala body moldings. There's a whole field of more cars. Just kind of the same mix, what's everywhere else. I always thought these ambassadors were neat. Little Opal Cadet, LSES. Rambler, I had a two door post, one of these. Tried and tried and tried and tried to sell that car for a project and finally crushed it. Hated to do it, but if you can't... Did you see this bed door? What? Bed door? Hated to do it to that Rambler, but just reached a point where couldn't save it. This has wheel arch trim, too. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's that big one. Hmm. Lots of 69s. Somebody's harvested all the dealer badges. All not meaning every last one, but... Oh, I came here wishing for a Caprice headlight bucket for 77 or 8, and I have not found one yet. Seventy two. This sixty eight custom coops like this. This is poison ivy here. So I'm gonna walk across this rusty hood to check. I don't always have that disrespect for a car, but if it's an old junk, wrecked, ruined part. 
not that much to cry over. That is a 70. Uh, by the grill. The, ta the tail lights are the easiest way to tell those. So this is the back side of where we came down the... The car I thought was a, yeah, it's marked sold. Marked sold. That's a 71. Wow. That's a two-door post, non-500. That's kind of a rare. Yeah. Wow. That 71, man. Oh, I would spend my time probably sorting loose, already dismantled doors. Zamani. Oh, yeah. Loose for the Pekings. Wow. Winner, yeah. winner. Sixty-four. What is that thing? Okay. Yeah, Monty or Chevelle or something. Doesn't matter. I don't have a Monty or Chevelle. There's a whoa. These uh, black. Ah, shoot! Their headrest. Still though, they're nice. Pull this door back a little. Okay, hold on. Uh, Sixty nine, probably. I might, I might take those anyway, even though they're headrest. What are these doors here? I have that hip in the back. Uh, garbage. Rabbit or golf? Oh yeah. 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 Dear Mr. Good Players, I can't believe you called a classic German import car garbage. I'm unsubscribing right now. Okay, to everyone who survived that, stick around for more vintage American <laughs> 60s, 70s, 50s. Uh, this guy was much no, it doesn't. What? That's cool. So that would be 60, no, it'd be 70, 70, 71, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that I would say would be a good, good getter. Hey, I have one of those. <laughs> yeah. This two-door hard top. Hmm. Sixty seven two door hard top. There's a bunch of trim on stuff like this. It's the money and I but I don't know. Ooh, this is that seventy four. So Does that guy have a oh a guy should really get the fenders and header off of that car. Uh, the header, the grill, and then the tail lights, which have already been harvested. Yep, that's a good getter there. Okay. That 71 Mustang that Thomas showed, it had frame rust. Yeah. This has kind of got the Houston... Yeah, this is the Gulf Coast edition. 
We had a Great Lakes edition. Oh, I forgot. Forgot not to open rattlesnake houses. <sighs> My assessment of this car is I would have. My dad had a Dodge Bolt. Oh, really? Mitsubishi. Ah, look here. Uh, take a picture of this pop out car. Why? Uh, side X. side windows. Yeah. Oh. To pull the pull the pop outs. And hold on, I have never seen this. You? Yeah, I don't know if that's factory. Still, let's get some parts off of this. Yeah, it is neat though. How about that? I'm, I'm enjoying this lately. <laughs> you were about to about to question me big time when we were sitting at the gate though, yeah. and I felt bad until. Fleet energy. Fleet, fleet energy. 304 car. Bill's taxi? Yeah. Okay, let's go this way. Cloth interior, so I don't know if it was really a fleet spec. Quick thin there. Hey, hey, he says. Oh, yeah. That's good. Australia guy played a thousand dollars for two sets of, of window trim mm -hmm. off of these. No questions asked, plus shipping. Wow. Yeah, that's too too much of a car to put up on the truck and drive six hundred miles with. I, I, I know what I need to get off of that. Okay. Okay. Oh. That answers that. Okay, core supports. Hmm. Okay. Wow, that was a pretty car. That would have been a great car. Man. Mm-hmm. No, blue and wood grain. The wood grain's just faded. Oh, sure, yeah. Wow. That would have been a really pretty car. Texas Sunburn. No, that's that Mopar you asked about last night. Dodge 440. Seven, eight. Is it? It's an eight. Yeah. Custom coot. Nope. Tiltless. Here's a Dodge. There's got to be a place where there's spindles and control arms stashed. Maybe a pickup bed or a building. Did you see the... Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Did you see the uh, pickup? Not only did they destroy a good car, they destroyed a good derby car. <laughs> was that a, a, a station wagon? No, it was a sedan. But still. This is a car I'd like to have as a Nice driver. Zach Rudy. Joe.
Joe. Zach Rudy. Oh, yeah? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. So many cars and trucks to see. Opal. Automatic. New door Biscayne. So it has the cheapo rear tail lights. Mm hmm. Right? What year of back glass were you wanting? Oh, just se seven and eight four door hardtop. Okay. I think my guy's going to strike out on 77.8 headlight bucket for a Caprice. Wow. Some more of my classic tire. So these he's marked. These he's been marking on. If if there's a place where he has spindles and control arms saved, you should look up on eBay what Granada spindles are bringing now. Yeah, but the, all the spindles are gone, so that's what I'm saying if they're... Because I'll need to look for those Dodge ones. That's a bench seat Impala Custom 307. Wow. Plainest of Janes. Man. What's a vinyl top car? What's that? You spend this for 320 shipped. It's the most expensive. Yeah. What's the sold? Here's a four door hard top. I put in for Granada Spindle. You can buy a new set for four hundred and forty eight. I was wondering if they've but still a used one would bring That's totally different. It's a fox body. I'll bet these would sell. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, there's a 63 automatic. Uh, this one... Right here. This one might be worth grabbing. Yeah. So, somewhere over here is where that 63 wagon is supposed to be. I would do. This is the air cleaner car in here. There's another 73 Olds 2. Do you need any uh... Cadillac stuff? No, I was going to say Cadillac stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Volkswagen. Volkswagen, what? Oh. No, I didn't. That's like a 70 ish. Rear bumpers, not good on that. Oh, this Cadillac. I've got a standing order for a steering column. This is that Lincoln that had all the glass in it still.
that 68 Lincoln. Oh yeah, this is just a Bel Air. Not interested. This is a weirdo. Yeah. Here's a four door hard top. Sixty-nine. That was a disc brake car. <laughs> Need to look up. Sixty-five. This sixty-five trunk lid. Yeah. Wow. Sold sadly. Wow. This 65 deck lid, Joe, 600 bucks. Yeah, I banged it. <laughs> Ain't like I'm going in there. Hubcap car. Some older ones. Might be worth unloading that thing. Mm hmm. Yeah, just look. There's some older ones. There. Yep. 73 Chrysler. Grandma's old and pal. <laughs> Mangled VW. That's kind of sad, those tag frames. Bring good money on eBay. This was like a trash compactor. What's that? Packmore, yeah. Yep, that's a round tube trash truck. And it's still got the last unloaded load in there too. Wow. That's how you tell civilization as an archaeologist by looking at the trash pits. It's most of what they tell from. That is a super neat fleet truck. We're out here at the junkyard. Cars are getting loaded up and leaving. The crusher's on its way. It's got the extra one quart tumor. <laughs> Some engineer got paid the big bucks. Oh, it's import, huh? 
Yeah, it's probably some tight little subframe that it had to, but they had to have that court. There's a radio station Fairmont there. Those Fairmont tail lights, they're just glued in and they fall off. So you can just take them off with your hands and they're decent dollars on the bay. You wouldn't realize they're LS swapping those left and right and they're quite the drag racing champions. That's got one side good anyway. One corner good. Panel truck, kind of neat. Half ton. A little baby topper on the S10. Princess craft. Wow. Pflugerville, Texas. I don't know. Coax it, yeah. Tap on the handle and coax it with the pry bar. That's a short blank side van. Neat O with the tow bar on the back, the little brackets. Hubcap Central inside this one. Look at all this. Dig through these and see what's in there. Inventory vans, radiators. In the van? Astro van. <laughs> well, that, that's full of lawnmower engine parts. Oh, excellent. Mm hmm. Although a lot of it is marked, this is a big boy. C, not a C, but a 30, Apache 30, or whatever they called them in these years. Oh, fuel tank, yep. That's a big boy. What's this one got in it for parts? Brake backing plates. Truck four speed tops. Mmm.